Today, Caillou was visiting the petting zoo with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. <laughs> it's okay, Rosie. They're just sheep. Sheep are soft and friendly. You see? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, get out of here, you! Buzz off, go and get your own ice cream. Ow! <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Oh, you dropped your ice cream. It's okay, we can get you another one. It's not my ice cream, it's my nose. A greedy bee stung me. Oh dear, poor Caillou. Here, this will make you feel better. Why, why did it sting me, Mommy? Well, it probably thought you were trying to hurt it, Caillou. Uh, I did try and hit it, but it was trying to eat my ice cream. Caillou, you shouldn't try and hit bees. They're very special little creatures. Come on, let's follow him and see where he goes. Is that his house? That's right, Caillou. A bee's house is called a hive. That's a big house for just one little bee. Actually, thousands of bees live in there. Listen carefully and you can hear them. It sounds like an airplane. What are those ones doing? They're collecting nectar, which they use to make honey. Bees love sweet things. Like ice cream? Exactly. That bee didn't want to hurt you. It just wanted to share some of your ice cream. Bees should learn to say please. <laughs> Come on. I know something fun we can do to cheer you up. Look! A horsey! Almost, Caillou. That's a donkey. Ride the donkey? Sure you can! Whoa! This is high up! <laughs> Here! These will keep you safe! Hold on to your sister, Caillou. We don't want either of you falling off. to carry both of us. That's right. Donkeys may be small, but they are very strong. Like me. <laughs> it was another busy day in the classroom when Mrs. Martin called for the kids to quiet down. She had an announcement to make. All right, kids, settle down, settle down. Okay, now we have an exciting thing happening at school this week. It's the school talent show. The class couldn't wait to get started on practicing their talents. But what was Caillou going to do? When Caillou got home later that day, he searched the house for things to do in the talent show. from skipping <laughs> to singing. He even tried dancing. Caillou was beginning to wonder if he'd ever find a talent for the school talent show. Hmm. What's the matter, Caillou? 
I don't know what my talent is. I've tried everything. Well, hey, Caillou, what about this? What do I do with this? Well, Caillou, it's a magic wand. You can be a magician in your talent show. Here. <laughs> okay, Daddy. So what magic should I do? You just wait here, Caillou. I'll be right back. Moments later, Daddy was back carrying another box. It was a hard black case, and stamped across it were the words Magic Kit. Wow! Now, Caillou, this used to be my Magic Kit when I was your age. Now it's yours. Use it at the talent show and show everyone what you can do. <laughs> I look like a real magician. You sure do, Caillou. Now, get practicing. Caillou practiced and practiced, and the next day at the talent show he was ready, but starting to feel nervous. He was up next. Hey, Caillou. It's okay. Don't be nervous. You'll be great. Yeah, Caillou. Just go out there and have fun. <gasps> My name is Caillou, and... And I'm a magician! Behold! Caillou whispered the magic words, tapped the hat with his magic wand, and... Meet Teddy, everybody! <laughs> and now for my next trick. Look what happens to Teddy when I do this. The crowd went wild for Caillou's tricks. He was so proud of himself. <laughs> oh, Caillou, that makes you look really scary. I know. Why don't we each tell some scary stories? Mm. <laughs> We're not afraid! Once upon a time, there were two girls who were riding their bikes through a spooky wood. It began to get dark, and they could hear owls hooting in the trees above them. They began to feel really, really Suddenly, the chain came off their bikes and they got stuck. They were so scared and shaking that they couldn't pull the chains back on. We're never going to get out of here! <gasps> then they heard a strange noise somewhere in the woods behind them. They slowly turned around and there, in front of them, was a ghost! G -g ghost The two girls were frozen to the spot. The ghost began to come closer and closer. Go away! The ghost floated right through them and over to the bicycles. Hey, get away from our bikes! All of a sudden, the ghost vanished, and the girls saw that the chains on their bicycles had been magically fixed. Whoa! 
Ooh. Clementine, that wasn't scary. It sounds like a friendly ghost. Leo? Uh, I'm not scared. I was pretending. <laughs> I'll tell you a really scary story. Once upon a time, there was a boy who lived on a farm with his daddy. They built a scarecrow to frighten the birds away from eating their vegetables. That night, there was a storm that woke the boy up. He looked out his bedroom window and saw the scarecrow standing in the vegetable patch. Daddy! Daddy! The scarecrow is moving! Don't be silly. Scarecrows can't move. Daddy let the boy sleep in his room because he was scared. And soon he fell fast asleep. In the morning, they looked out the window, but the scarecrow had vanished. So, had the scarecrow really come to life? Maybe his hat just blew there? I know you're not asleep yet. I can hear you talking. Daddy, it's you! I've brought you all some hot chocolate and cookies. It's very cozy <laughs> in here. What have you all been talking about all this time? We were telling each other really scary stories. But we're not scared. No, we're not scared at all. Daddy, would you like to sleep in the den, too, tonight? I don't think I'd fit, Caillou, but why don't I sleep on the couch and keep watch in case any scarecrows come? That would be great, Daddy. Then you don't have to miss out on all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was Christmas Eve. And Caillou was dreaming of all the wonderful toys he'd be getting on Christmas Day. Mm. <laughs> hey, what's that noise? Hmm. Oh. What is it, Gilbert? It's Santa! Come on, Gilbert! Caillou put on his winter clothes and rushed outside into the snow. Christmas! Santa! Hello, Caillou! Wow! You know my name! That's my cat, Gilbert! Have you come to bring me my presents? That's exactly why I'm here. But I've run into a little bit of a problem. Poor old Rudolph here forgot to bring his scarf and has caught a cold. Without Rudolph's nose, I can't see where I'm going. Uh, at this rate, no one will get their Christmas presents. That's awful. Here, Rudolph, you can have my scarf. Grandma knitted it for me so it's nice and warm. <laughs> hey, that tickles. I think I've had an idea. Maybe you and Gilbert could help me deliver the presents. Really? That would be amazing! 
Great! Give me a moment. I've got just the thing. Here you go, Gilbert. Now you can light the way for us. Okay, Caillou, hop on board. We've got some presents to deliver. This is going to be great. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Merry Christmas! You make a great reindeer, Gilbert. With you showing us the way, we'll have the presents delivered in no time. <gasps> We're so high up! Okay, Caillou. Time to deliver the first present. I'll show you. Take my hand, Caillou. Ready? Ready! Ho, ho, ho! Wow, that was magic! Christmas magic! Thanks for helping me deliver all the presents, Caillou. I couldn't have done it without you and Gilbert. That was the best Christmas Eve ever! Rudolph says he's feeling much better after wearing your nice warm scarf. Merry Christmas, Caillou! Merry Christmas, Gilbert! Ho, ho, ho! See you next year! Merry Christmas, Santa! <sighs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Caillou! Mommy! Daddy! You'll never guess what Gilbert and I did last night! We went on a sleigh ride with Santa! That sounds like an exciting Christmas dream, Caillou. It wasn't a dream. It was real. I'm sure it was, Caillou. Let's go downstairs and see all the presents Santa brought you. Presents! Caillou, Leo, and Clementine were having lots of fun playing in the garden. They were having a competition to see who could throw the ball the highest. Okay, here it goes. Oh! That was really high. It almost touched the roof of the house. You try, Caillou. Mine is going to touch the clouds. Whoa! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That was close, Caillou. But I don't think it made it all the way to the clouds. Watch this! I bet I can reach the moon! <gasps> hey! Where did it go? It must have gone into space. <laughs> it's not in space. It's in the tree. Look! Oh, oh no! How are we going to get it down? If only we could fly or jump really high, then we'd be able to reach it. This looks like a job for some superheroes. To the Caillou Cave! <laughs> Captain Caillou, super strength! Captain Clem, night vision! Captain Leo, super speed! Okay, guys, let's go get our ball back! Look, there's a note. What does it say? I don't know. It looks like some kind of code. Don't worry. Professor Mommy is great at solving codes. We can take the note to her. Well, hello, my little superheroes. Are you on a super adventure? Yes. We're trying to solve the mystery of our missing ball. Can you help us? Well, I can try. The thief left us this note, but it's in some sort of code. You're right, Captain Clementine. It is a code. Luckily for you, I can read it. What does it say? It says, your precious ball is mine now. <gasps> if you want it back, meet me in my evil lair. Signed, Daddy, the Master Thief. Oh, no! <gasps> Where can we find the Master Thief? Well, rumor has it that his lair is in the living room. I mean, the Shadowlands. That sounds scary. Don't worry, Captain Clem. You've got the power of night vision! Oh, yeah! Come on, let's go defeat Daddy and get our ball back! <laughs> There's our ball! <gasps> Wait! It could be a trap. Don't worry, Clem. With your night vision, we can see in the dark. There. That's better. <laughs> Look out! It's the Master Thief! So, you worked out my code, did you? Quick! Captain Leo, use your super speed to tie him up! Oh no! You've captured me! Caillou, use your super strength to knock him down! <laughs> you got me. The ball is yours. You really are some superheroes. Great job, team. Let's go and find another hero adventure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. It's almost time for the weekend. So that means it's time to choose who gets to take home the class pet, Gerald. 
Now, who wants to take him home? Me, 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 Rise and shine, sleepyhead! It's breakfast time! Come on! Mommy says you can play in your ball today! Here, Gerald. Hey, Caillou. Hey, Leo. You want to come and see Gerald? I was just about to take him outside. Sure. So he needs to get some exercise, so I put him in his ball. <gasps> oh, no. What's wrong, Caillou? Where's oh. Gerald? I left him here, and now he's gone! Huh? <laughs> Mommy! I left Gerald in his ball, and he's disappeared! Don't worry, <laughs> Caillou. We'll find him. Now I just need to get out of here before the sheriff arrives. Ha ha ha! Not so fast, cowboy! Well, well, well. Looky here. That money isn't yours. It is now. I'm the sheriff in these parts, and I say you have to give it back. <laughs> Take the money back, I'll take you to jail. 
Well, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. you all might be hungry after saving the day, so I brought you some cowboy cookies. Wow! Thanks, Mommy! These ought to keep you full of energy for your next adventure. Yeah! And Sheriff Caillou is always ready to save the day! I like a lemonade, please. Oops, uh, that'll be one dollar, please, mister. <gasps> How's it going, Caillou? It's going great, Mommy. Look how much I've made already. That's wonderful, Caillou. It looks busy. Do you need any help? No, thank you, Mommy. I've got this all under control. Okay. Well, you call us if you need anything. We'll be right over here. One dollar? Two dollars? Three dollars? Four dollars? Five dollars? Oh, he is a scallywag. <laughs> Pepper, off. Come this way. I am sorry, young man. I hope he didn't bother you. Oh, no. I love dogs. <laughs> Please, can I play with him a bit longer? What do you think, Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> and what is your name, young man? I'm Caillou. Well, Caillou, you go off and play, and I'll have a glass of that delicious-looking lemonade. Let's go, Pepper. Oh, wow, Caillou. What's his name? Pepper! Because he's black, see? <laughs> Looks like someone is a little excited. Yeah, he's really friendly. <laughs> Do you want to pet him, Rosie? <laughs> Here, Pepper. Kiss, huh, Rosie? Caillou, don't forget this. They've had a wonderful time together. 
Haven't you, Caillou? Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for taking him off my hands, Caillou. I haven't had such a restful day out in a long time. <laughs> and I think Pepper enjoyed himself, too. I think Pepper needs to cool down. Hmm. I know! Pepper, let's go play in the fountain! Caillou, let's go. Spend them all at once. Race you to the bumper cars, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, kids, that was great. You must be getting hungry. Well, what would you like? Hmm. Let's see what we can get with this. <gasps> Air hockey! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is one cold milkshake, huh, Caillou? <gasps> Mini golf! Let's go! Almost there, Clem. One more tap should do it. That's it, Caillou. You can do this. <laughs> wow, Caillou! 
by you, a hole in one. We did it, Clem. Yeah. Come on, let's go get our prizes. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Uh -huh. Wow, Caillou. Did you have a good day? The best! Everyone, this is Alex. Now, it can be very scary to start at a new school. So let's all try and make him feel welcome, okay? Why don't you take a seat, Alex? Quiet today, Caillou. How was school? It was okay. Hmm. Hmm. Not hungry, Caillou? I thought spaghetti was your favorite. Spaghetti! Caillou, Daddy is talking to you. Hello? Earth to Caillou? Are you in there? I don't want spaghetti, Daddy! scared Rosie, Caillou. Uh, I know. I'm sorry, Daddy. I just got really mad. Well, why don't you tell me what made you so mad? Uh, it's just... There's a new kid at school, and I just wanted to be his friend, but he pushed me, and it hurt, and I don't know why he was so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caillou. I understand why that would make you angry. Uh, I didn't mean to be angry at Rosie. Uh, I'm just scared. That's okay. Rosie will understand if you apologize. That's what's most important. Caillou? Sorry I scared you, Rosie. It isn't nice to be scared. Spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Rosie. Let's go down and finish our dinner. What if Alex is mean again, Daddy? I'm going to come in and we'll speak to Mrs. Martin about it together, okay? Remember, if anyone is ever mean to you, you can always tell your teacher. Okay. Good morning, Caillou. Hi, Mrs. Martin. I... I need to tell you that... Hey, Caillou. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Alex. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for pushing you yesterday. It's just really scary being at a new school. And I didn't mean to be mean, but I'd really like to be your friend, if you'll still let me. That's okay. Sometimes when I get scared, I mean by accident, too. Really? Yeah. But my daddy says the important thing is to say sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Caillou. 
You don't want Alex to be late on his second day, do you? Coming! Come on, you can meet Leo and Clementine before class!